How do you stop Crypto Hopper from spending all your money? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a few tips to stop your bot from spending everything you have. But first, let's bring on Bertie Bot. Come on, Bertie. So guys, it's a common problem. You put a thousand dollars in your trading bot. Well, it's on your exchange actually. It's not in your trading bot. That's a different matter. API keys and all that. So you've got your thousand dollars, say five thousand, ten thousand, whatever. How do you stop your trading bot from using all of that money and buying lots of stuff? And uh, how do you keep control of it? How do you limit what it can spend? I mean, if you've got $1,000, you don't want your bot to start using all of that $1,000, do you? No, no, no. What you want to do is, like, keep most of it in reserve so that you can use that reserve funds for auto DCA when the bot needs to DCA. When there's a, a crash... You don't want the market crashing while you've got a thousand dollars and that's all you've got a full thousand dollars in trades because then you have to recover from that you have to wait for the market to come back up naturally to get back to break even just okay so what you do is you know you could divide your money into four so let me just show you i've i've prepared some screens for you to look at like a presentation Whoa. okay so I've got a, a list of rules that I follow I didn't follow them to the letter in the last bull market and I regretted it all right because I could have made a lot more if I had followed these simple rules all right let me show you okay so here's rule number one do not allow too many positions to be open at the same time. All right? So if you've got $1,000, you wouldn't allow the bot to open 100 positions times $10 because that would be all of your $1,000 gone in one go, so to speak. What you would be better doing is allowing the bot to open up maybe... $200 worth of positions, all right, and each position would be, I don't know, $20. Let's say you had 10 positions, limit them to about $20 in each position, and that keeps you nice and safe. You've only used 20% of your capital, and you've got 10 positions open, and they are $10 each. All right, so you've got $800 in reserve. Simple, all right? Now, you've got this $800 in reserve can be used, if the market crashes, to do an auto DCA, dollar cost averaging, into those positions, all right? And when they come back up, they'll be double the size. There won't be $20 anymore, all right? They'll be nearly forty dollars in value you spent nearly forty thousand forty dollars and when they come up and they get into profit one percent two percent three percent five percent whatever it is you're now getting a, a bigger percentage sorry a bigger profit because your percentage has gone up on a larger position so for example what's five percent of ten dollars well it's fifty cents isn't it but what's 5% of $20? It's a dollar. All right? So that position that you've DCA'd, although it's annoying having to do DCA, becomes larger, and therefore the profit, when it does come into profit, is larger also. Make sense? Rule number two kind of ties in with what I've just said in rule number one. Make sure that your position sizes are not too big. Example, if you're trading with funds of $1,000, then maybe set a limit of $20 per position. 
multiplied by 10 positions. That would give you that $200 in open positions. Now, you can do that inside of the bot, all right? $200 in open positions, leaving you $800 from your 1000 in reserve to handle more than one DCA later if cryptos crash. Hint, don't go all in. Don't spend all that $1,000, all right, from the get-go. Let me show you in the settings, guys. So click on the config here. This is my paper trading bot. And it made me log back in because I hadn't been active in over 15 minutes, which is good. Because it keeps your account secure. You know, you walk away from the computer for 30 minutes and somebody else comes and plays around with it and messes all, all your crypto hopper up. You don't want that, do you? Kids, etc., you know. Dogs, cats. All right, so where would you... Uh, set rule number one and two well the first one not opening too many positions would be here in buy settings all right set that to 20 set it to 15 set it to 10 set it to whatever you're comfortable with and whatever your budget is etc all right and the second thing coins and amounts in here you tell crypto hopper how much you want each position to be worth all right so i've got fifteen dollars times fifteen positions now if you're good at maths you've probably worked that out already but i want to be extra careful because i don't want to look like an idiot on camera okay that's two hundred and twenty five dollars in play all at the same time all right it's still quite safe it's not bad. Out of a thousand dollars, you can, you know, still have seven hundred and seventy-five dollars in reserve. That's that should be all right. I mean, you don't have to stick to this rule exactly where it's twenty percent. You can go for twenty-five percent in play, all right, and have seven hundred and fifty in reserve. That's fine as well. But I'm trying to keep you guys safe, so I'm saying. Don't go over two hundred dollars if you've got a thousand dollars. See how things go, and then maybe tweak things a little bit later on. Yeah, add an extra position or increase the position size slightly. You know, tweak it up to get to your two hundred and fifty dollars from two hundred dollars. Get me? So that's rule number one and two. Position size. Rule number one. Don't go crazy here. Uh, sorry, here. Don't go crazy here. All right? And number two, or was it number one? Don't open too many positions. All right? Let's have a look at rule number three. Now, this is a mistake I did quite often in the last bull run, and I regretted it. Because doing DCA, you see something that's only 2% down, but it's already been DCA'd a couple of times, so therefore it's, I don't know, it's turned into a $50 position, for example. And you see that it's 2% down, and you look at the charts, and you go, hmm, I think that's going to pump nicely any minute now. I'm going to DCA that manually. I'm going to double that position size. So it's going to go from minus 2% to minus 1% by spending another 50-ish dollars on that position. Now you've gone from $50 to $100. And what happens if there's a market crash five minutes after you do the DCA manually? It's painful. You'll regret it. All right. So... Let's read this out. Don't do any DCA when a crypto is just a tiny percentage below your buy price. Let me show you an example. All right, here's my dashboard. You know, I used to be a little bit aggressive with DCA in the last bull market. I would see something like these ones here. Only a little bit down. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing when you see this. Even that, that's really nothing. This can fly up. Anytime now. 
There's no point in DCAing. It's only a tiny bit down. All right? So don't DCA manually when you see something just a couple of percent down. It's not worth spending extra money on. You just wait and be patient for it to come back up by itself. You've got your, your other positions. They're making you profits. They're selling. And then once that one sells there, for example, I've got 15 positions. Once this one sells in profit, it's going to, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be all right because you're opening up another new position. And even if that's still down in the red, that new position can come straight up into the green and sell. Now, another thing here, in these settings, trailing stop loss. Sorry, the auto DCA. Dollar cost average. I'm, I'm using this one at the moment, but I might tweak it again later. I might go for 15. I might go for 20. So it has to drop 20% before I DCA. Max retries there as well. Only two DCAs. If it needs to be DCA'd after that, I will do it manually myself when I see fit and I think it's safe. All right? Not when it's 2% down. All right? So, I used to get carried away and would often do a manual DCA if I thought my position was going to pump in value. I would often see a large position, sometimes hundreds of dollars, guys, that was only about minus 2% down. And after doing a manual DCA, it can drop a lot further down. But I've already spent lots of money, and I'm, and I'm slapping myself. It's better to set an auto DCA level that you know is a comfortable level and stick to it. This retains or conserves your reserve capital, making that reserve capital available when a coin does drop enough to be worthy of a DCA. Let the crypto, crypto dump a lot before you allow the bot to buy more. 12.5% as you saw in my settings. You know, it's not set in stone. I can change it to 15 or 20 or even 25 if I wanted. Something might have to drop a full 25% before I allow the bot to DCA. Because I'm controlling how much I want the bot to spend. All right, and that max DCA retries as well. I've got that set at two. That is another kind of way to limit the bot from spending too much. So there's lots of things you can do in the settings to stop it going crazy with your money. All right. So set your auto DCA. Don't manual DCA. Don't get into the habit of doing that like I did. Like I say, I could have made a shit ton of money more because I would have left more money in reserve to DCA at deeper levels down. Does that make sense, guys? Let's have a look at the next rule. Choose only cryptocurrencies you absolutely trust and not scam coins. Do you remember FTT, FTX coin, Terra Luna? You'll never see that money again. Choose, li choose wisely and live well, guys. Saw that on a shopping TV channel thing. Choose wisely, live well. All right. So choose your coins carefully. Go on coin market cap. Choose only coins that you know and trust. If you don't know some coins, don't don't bother all right it's better to choose just the good solid coins and if you're not sure ask me on skype if you get the secret source which is below this link you'll you'll get help from me all right so choose choose those coins wisely and live well guys you know bitcoin that's a good solid coin to trade isn't it ethereum yeah some of the others in the top 10 yeah Maybe the top 100 coins, they're all pretty decent. yeah. But even, you know, Terra Luna, that was in the top 100. And FTT coin, that's the FTX coin, that was in the top 100. So you can never be 100% guaranteed, guys. Make sure they're solid, reliable, sturdy, trustworthy 
coins before adding them into your coins list. Guys, just sticking to those four simple rules will keep your bot from spending too much money. The key idea here is to conserve as much capital as you can while making enough profit to achieve a consistent and worthwhile profit over the long run. It is very, very tempting to break some or all of these rules, but stick to them and you'll probably do a lot better than even I did in the last bull run. All right, I took $630 in the beginning and I turned that into about 25000 in around 18 months in the last bull run. I could have made a lot more if I'd stuck to my own rules. I'm serious, guys. Don't break these rules, right? You'll be sorry. You will be sorry. Come the next bear market and you've got a load of bags, all right? I've still got some bags, even though I made 25 k If you want to stretch Crypto Hopper, then simply add more money and tweak the settings a little so let's say you've got a thousand dollars in there now and you're allowing it to use 250 dollars in open positions and you've got 10 open positions and they're 25 dollars in value each all right that that's using 25 percent of your money so you've got 750 in reserve but what if you want to do bigger trades or open more positions well add some more money stick to the rules guys if you added $1,000, well, then you can, you can double those positions. You can have, you know, more positions or you can have bigger positions. One of the two, but not both, guys. Just, or you, you can actually mix maybe just a few more positions and increase the dollar amount in each position just a little bit. All right? But try and keep it, basically, rule of thumb, only have a quarter, 20% or... 25% of your total funds on the table, on the board, at the same time, before any DCA happens, all right? Conserve your capital. A bonus tip here, guys. Don't tweak your bot too much all in one go, all right? Too many changes all at once can mess up your system, so to speak. Little changes over time work best. Yeah, Let's say you're adjusting the, um, the number of positions. You know, you wouldn't go from five positions suddenly to 25 positions. All right? Because that's going to go crazy spending a lot more money. I mean, if you've added a, a bunch of money at the end of the month, fine, all right. Tweak things up like that. But if you're using the same funds from the beginning, don't go mad and open up too many positions or increase the position sizes from like $10 or $15 to like $50. Don't do that, guys. It's the same as, you know, it's the same as spending a lot of your reserve funds. Too much of that all in one go and then you get a crash. All right. It's going to it's going to be painful painful just as painful as breaking those other rules all right let's have a look at the next bonus tip got one more for you all right that's not the right one i want bonus tip number two there it is Another bonus tip, guys. Sign up for Crypto Hopper using my link and you will receive for free my secret source settings that will help you gain an average of 1.05% per day in compounded profits. Now, guys, I managed to get 1.05% average per day in the last bull run, even though I was making those silly mistakes like doing DCA manually at minus 2% and spending too much money in the bot you know i managed to get out of trouble most of the time but it was hard work guys you know i i have to shuffle things around quite a bit and if i'd have just left the bot to dca automatically by itself i would have done a lot better than getting 630 dollars up to 25k i would have done a lot lot better all right uh, subscribe guys 
subscribe so you see more of my videos on crypto hopper when i publish them hit that bell icon like comment and share if you want to help this channel grow i want to get to 2000 subscribers that would be fantastic i think we're up to 1600 ish now which is cool all right i just thought of another extra bonus tip actually guys all right listen Let's say you've got $1,000 and you open 10 positions and they're uh, $20 each. Well, let's say you open 20 positions and they're $10 each. All right, so that's $200 in play. All right, what you could do is only allow each position to get to a maximum of maybe $50. All right. So that would be a couple of DCAs on that position, all right? And if it gets to $50, what you can do is this. You can go into your dashboard for your bot. This is my paper trading bot, so it doesn't matter. It's all right. All right, you can go in your dashboard, and you look in your positions, right? And let's say you see a position there that's like $50. It's, it's done two DCAs or three DCAs, whatever you've got it set to. It's done two, three three C DCAs and it's it's quite a high dollar amount and you're thinking well you know I don't want that impacting me it's it's um it's you know maybe it's my minus 20 percent and it's quite a big position maybe it's fifty dollars maybe it's a hundred dollars maybe it's too much for you to to worry about so you just go okay I'll do this click on there right click on there and click on there, reserve, all right, or here. Watch what happens. All right, so that's gone now, is that position. It hasn't disappeared, but it's gone from here, right? And you'll find it in there. All right, now that, I can leave that in there and call it a long-term hold, a hodl, a hodl coin, a huddle bag, whatever you want to call it. All right? And that, especially in a bull market, that is going to come back up and go way beyond where it bought at in this bull run. It's going to 10x easily. It's jazz me. All right? So you can leave that in there. So that doesn't have to be DCA'd anymore. And that has freed up one of your slots to allow it to buy say ten dollars of another crypto and who knows it might even buy jasmine again ten dollars of it but you know it'll be all right because that jasmine might go up to two three percent and sell no problemo plus you've got your little little bag fifty dollars sixty dollars hundred dollars of jasmine and you know it's going to go up 10x keep it in there until you see maybe 10 20 30 40 50 percent profit on it and then, when you want to put it back into open positions, click on there, and it puts it back. And there it is again, down at the bottom, 8.15, 8.13% down. Easy peasy, and sell it if it's up in profit. All right? That's an extra, extra bonus tip. So I hope I have explained thoroughly enough how to stop your crypto hopper from spending all your money. You, know, you may be quite scared of that happening. You know, I was before I ever even thought about getting a crypto trading bot. I, thought, oh, I used to think, well, no, I think we'll spend too much money. That was... Uh, it's a common uh, worry, is that. How do you stop, stop a, a bot going crazy? Well, it only goes crazy if you tell it to go crazy, guys. If you stick to certain rules and you tweak things slowly instead of going crazy with uh, settings and increasing too much you'd be fine absolutely fine all right the key is that reserve capital that is the most important thing you've got to protect that at all costs all right only spend some of that on dca when you absolutely need to all right because DCA does speed up the process. If something's 25% down, well, you can wait for it to creep up by that 25% and 
it'll get there eventually in a bull market but you'll have to wait a long time you can speed that up by doing a DCA but let it do it automatically when you get a new buy signal and when it's down enough to be worthy of doing a DCA all right and that'll bring it back into profit quicker because it won't be 25% down anymore it'll be 12.5% down and going from 12.5% down back up to break even is a lot faster than going from 25% down back up to break even a lot faster guys all right and then the other benefit is because you've DCA'd your position size is bigger and once it goes up to 5 or 10% profit Bob is your uncle you can sell it and get a bigger profit as a result bigger in dollars as well not just percentages just a reminder guys if you want free access to my secret source settings and my help in Skype maybe crypt, uh, tele, telegram as well but uh, get crypto hopper using my link below this video use coupon code Jim crypto hopper if it is still active I apologize if it has expired it will expire soon and you'll get a discount on your first subscription I think it's 10% don't don't quote me on that I'm not even sure how much it's giving you a discount for all right and guys what if you already have crypto hopper and you want the secret source so you can't you can't use my link can you well I have an opportunity for you to get the secret source as well all right I've spelt subscribe there wrong if you already have a crypto hopper account and cannot use my link you have two options to get the secret source settings videos let your current plan expire maybe you're on a monthly plan and you're three weeks into it all right no problem let it expire stop uh, stop the stop the payment from auto renewing there's a setting inside your crypto hopper and it's something like cancel auto renew it doesn't um, stop your bot running as soon as you cancel that it will allow it to uh, expire for that extra week all right and just will not automatically take money from you all right let that happen all right clear your cookies in your web browser clear all cookies in your history all right use my link and resubscribe to crypto hopper bot using a different email address so that you crypto hopper will see you as a brand new customer all right and it's even better even more guaranteed if you sign up using a different device with a different email because you there won't be any cookies on that device all right this is the part I worry about people clearing their cookies even if you visit crypto hopper before using my link just visit without even creating an account it can set cookies on your device and my link will not stick all right so be careful here guys a lot of people come to me you know oh, I've been through your link but it's not well you know it's all to do with cookies guys all right option two if you don't want to cancel your crypto hopper plan you don't want to let it expire you're worried that you can't clear your cookies or for whatever reason you can't do option one send me a hundred dollars in USDT to my Binance USDT wallet and to get that wallet address you will need to click the link in the description the top link it will take you to my page and I will make it very clear what my Skype ID is on there you can contact me on Skype and we'll will sort that out I'll give you my USDT wallet address once I see that USDT in my wallet I will send you the secret source and you get the same treatment the same uh, privileges that anybody else gets guys all right okay so please like comment and subscribe and share this video if you want to be extra helpful to my channel and uh, I am trying to grow this channel guys with your help I'm gonna do that okay alright so I'll see you in the secret source or I'll see you in the next video so let's bring on Bertie bot bye bye guys